In this tutorial, I'm going to have a look at VLOOKUP, what it is supposed to do and how using it properly can make your life a whole lot easier. Now, what does VLOOKUP do? Well, according to Microsoft, it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit around that. Now, a lot of the benefits of VLOOKUP stem from how you have to organize your spreadsheets to make VLOOKUP work best. We'll first talk about these benefits, then I'll walk you through a VLOOKUP example for real. VLOOKUP allows you to connect your information together. This is one of the advantages of having a database system, but with VLOOKUP, you can have a little of that power in your spreadsheet. Now, in order to connect your data or information together, you're going to have to think about how you're going to lay out your data in the spreadsheet to start with. This is not a bad thing, however, because if you have ever torn your hair out trying to figure out someone else's spreadsheet, following formulas from one sheet or workbook to another, then you know the pain that building spreadsheets the wrong way can cause. One of the most important rules of spreadsheet design is not to mix source data and report information. To put it another way, none of your spreadsheet report worksheets should form the input to another report. Instead, all reports should draw from and link to the same information. This could be, for example, a data spreadsheet that holds, well, data. Now this here is an example of what we're going to do with VLOOKUP. These are two tables from a database. Uh, the first table being table cities and the second table being table counties. And we have, what we need to be able to do is to link up the cities and the counties. Quite often when you're working with Excel, you will import data from an external data source, etc. And you're going to have to do something like this. So here's a practical example. I've taken the data from these two tables and pasted them into a spreadsheet. So we've got table cities and table counties. And the counties, you could say, are the parent of the cities in the sense that every city is going to belong to some county. So if we look here, we can see that table cities has 549 rows and table counties has only got 89 rows. This is normal because you will have more than one city in a county. And this is where treating your data like a database is going to pay dividends because VLOOKUP will work, but it also means that your data is a lot more organized and it's a lot easier to make changes. So now I'm going to link cities and counties together with VLOOKUP. In this instance, just like with the definition, the um, this data has been sorted in ascending order for the county ID. So each element in this data has a separate identifying ID. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a range name and I'm just going to call this counties. We'll note that the county name is in the second column. In database parlance, that's a field. Hint, basically, when you're setting up data, don't have any spaces between the columns and have unique identifiers for each column. In, e in database parlance, the columns would be fields and the rows are records. So we've created a range name called counties. If I press F5 and click on counties, you can see counties are highlighted. So let's go back to table cities now and put in the VLOOKUP. To make this a little bit clearer, instead of calling it national region ID, I just call it county ID. So equals V lookup. Lookup value in this instance is going to be the county ID field. The table is going to be counties, which we created earlier. The column index is going to be the second column, so we want to look up the we want to look up county id and find it in the first column but then we want to offset to the second column for the value we want to return and we want an exact match not an approximate match so basically if you have an approximate match what's going to happen is you can have erroneous data returned we want exact 
information we want to know the exact county that something belongs to if you had an approximate match for example if a piece of data was missing from the county's table you wouldn't know it because the approximate match would give the next county which would be in this case wrong so always if you want exact results back put in either false or you can just use zero which is the same as false so let's go with that and so bedford is in the county of bedfordshire so we just put count just type county now there county and now if i just double click on this everything fills out nicely the other benefit of using a range name rather than painting it out and when i say painting it out what i mean is clicking in the table array area and just dragging over the whole table and press enter here so if i were to send this down you see we get errors because what happens is the as you can see the, the range increments that's because the range is not absolute so the way to make it absolute is to highlight your range and press your f4 key but you can avoid and with the f with the f4 key now the range is absolute if i drag that down everything is okay again however you can avoid all of this hassle by just working against a range name which automatically will look after absolute and re relative references so let's just redo that so everything now is counties let's for example assume that london north now wishes to change its name to just and london north east so we've got 26 london norths well we know that london north is 1021 so if we go to table counties 100,021 to be quite honest and i change this to north east and now i go back to table cities you can see now everything has changed neatly to north east so it's a good way of managing your data in a neat manner that reduces the chances of you having errors in the future let's just change that back to london north london north east is in table counties and right now barking barn at brent camden and the city of london are in london north east but to change all of those we only have to change it in one place and everything changes back to london north that's pretty much one of the advantages or one of the main reasons to use VLOOKUP. Thanks for watching.